Hey, happy Friday to you. I'm glad that you're here today. Welcome to yet another episode of Five Minutes with Phil. And we've hit the end of the work week, and here we are now looking at the weekend. And what better way to do so than to pause for a little bit and look at God's Word together? So let's do that today. I'm actually going to pick up where we left off yesterday. Uh, we just finished the Beatitudes, and uh, which is the beginning of Jesus' uh, Sermon on the Mount. But here, uh, in the next few verses, Jesus says some really powerful things that I really want to encourage you with today. Uh, it, Jesus talks about being salt and light. And I want to read these verses to you. Take a look at the screen. I am looking at Matthew 5, starting in verse 13 and going to verse 16. Okay, so here we go. It says, You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It's no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled by men. You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people uh, light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before men that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. Okay, there's a lot there. Okay, um, uh, let's, let's start off by talking about our being the salt of the earth. Now, Jesus is talking to people that are following him and he says, you're the salt of the earth. What does that mean? Okay, what does salt do? Now, if you're from Northeast Ohio, like I am, you know exactly what salt can do. Salt is supposed to penetrate ice and, and melt it. And it, it kind of uh, goes right into where the ice is. And being salt of the earth, you actually penetrate the world that God has brought you in and God has called you to. And I always like to encourage people to let them know that... God has put you in the place that you're at for a reason. God's put you at the school that you're at. God's put you in the job that you're at. God has put you on the team that you're a part of. God has put you in the neighborhood that you're a part of for a reason. And I think a big part of that is to be salt, is to kind of penetrate that culture and be an influence for Jesus Christ, which goes right in to Jesus saying that you are the light of the world. If you light a lamp, you don't put it under a bowl so that so that it covers the, the light and makes everything dark. If you're lighting a lamp, you want it to illuminate the world and, and, and really penetrate the darkness, right? And we are called to not only be salt, but to also be light. And we live in a very dark world and we desperately need people who can represent to this dark world what authentic, real, healthy, genuine Christianity really is. And that's where you and I come in. God's called us to be salt, to penetrate the world that we're in. He's given us our skill set and our personality so that we can be used by him to reach people or influence people for him. And again, Jesus said that if we let our light shine, okay, then what happens? He said this, other men will see your good deeds and they will praise your father in heaven. So here's the deal, okay? My life and the good decisions that I make and the right choices that I make and the good things that I do, that is an influence to the people that are around me, that they can praise the Lord, that they can look to Jesus because of how authentic my faith in Christ is. So understand, you don't have to preach a three-point sermon in order to lead people closer to Christ. You don't have to memorize some script. I mean, sure, if you could share your testimony and tell them what the Bible has to say, that's awesome. But understand that the things that you do and the people that you are will speak louder than any message somebody's going to hear. 
And so I want to encourage you, not only today, not only the weekend, but really the rest of our spiritual journey, let's work hard at being salt and at being light so that other people can put their faith in God. Amen? All right. Have an awesome weekend. I love you. We'll talk to you again later. Bye-bye.